Day three of full pads produces a better performance by the offense. Mike Petralia outside Paul Brown Stadium on the Kettering Health practice fields. We're here on a very humid afternoon after the thunderstorms passed in the morning. Bengals got in another good workout in full pads, their third full pads workout of training camp and of the week. They'll have Saturday off before getting back to it here on Sunday. They didn't start out particularly well for the Bengals as Deontay Smith, who's been getting a lot of work at right tackle, went down in individual drills with an apparent right leg injury. Uh, he was carted off early in practice, or actually before team drills ever began, and he is certainly being evaluated, and he is considered right now day-to-day. Uh, the Bengals also got some injury news that was more positive. Drew Sample, who was carted off uh, during practice on Thursday, he is expected to miss a couple of weeks, according to Zach Taylor, with an MCL issue, but not as bad as it could have been for uh, the Bengals' a big blocking tight end. So Drew Sample should be better. He apparently dodged a bullet and will be back uh, with the team probably in a couple of weeks. As for the performance itself on the field. Bengals defense had two more interceptions. Von Bell early in practice. Michael Thomas, the safety, had another interception for the second straight day. Michael Thomas has looked very strong and he is certainly competing uh, for some playing time on the first unit uh, as uh, obviously it, uh, Dax Hill is as well trying to replace uh, the still missing Jesse Bates here in training camp. But another good day for Mike Thomas, the safety in the Bengals defense. Bengals defense again getting to Brandon Allen a couple of times uh, before the NFL officiating crew led up by uh, Ron Torbert uh, for a second straight day. But the offense did look better. The, uh, the offensive line was not getting pushed around as much. They were getting uh, some good protection looks and Brandon Allen completed a string of five consecutive passes in 11 on 11 situations. And again, he looked a lot better, a lot smoother it was uh, Tyler Boyd with a really good sideline grab that really impressed the crowd here uh, outside Paul Brown Stadium. Also of note, it should be uh, certainly pointed out that Cam Taylor Britt had a great deflection at the end of practice in 11-on-11s, drawing a big roar from the crowd. Cam Taylor Britt has had his rookie moments, uneven moments, if you will, here early in camp, more, more so in individual one-on-one -on -one drills. But in this particular 11-on-11 situation, he went up and with his left hand, knocked the ball away at the last second, almost looked like he was trying to complete an Odell Beckham Jr.-esque type of grab for the interception did not quite come down but with the ball in his possession but still a very athletic play kind of showing you why the Bengals spent second round draft capital on the cornerback out of Nebraska some side notes here on uh, Friday afternoon Frosty Rucker spent some time with his five-year-old son meeting owner Mike Brown and several of the Bengals coaches uh, and uh, some of the uh, players here on the practice field. It was uh, good to see uh, Frosty Rucker in a uh, dark blue NFLPA polo shirt uh, making the rounds. Certainly a very interesting uh, occasion whenever any former Bengal comes back. And that was the situation uh, for the USC product and one of the uh, star defensive players of those 2000s Cincinnati Bengals. Also of note, in this particular practice, Jim McAnally for the second straight day, the former Bengals offensive line coach, working with, alongside Frank Pollock, the offensive line coach, working with a lot of the offensive linemen, working on techniques in one-on-one -on -one and two-on-two -two drills and trying to get them to get their hand placements correct and get their footwork right. And sure, Frank Pollock did not mind that. Jim McAnally, one of the most respected uh, offensive line coaches uh, in recent NFL history. He's right up there with uh, New England's Dante Scarnecchia. So Jim McAnally making the rounds here as well on Friday. For complete coverage, be sure to visit clnsmedia.com. Also, hit the link below and subscribe to the Jungle Roar podcast for all of my latest updates on YouTube from Cincinnati Bengals 2022 training camp as we get ready for the preseason opener next Friday against the Arizona Cardinals. Outside Paul Brown Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.